Navy pilot Jeremiah Denton is this country's most famous Vietnam era prisoner of war. He was the first off the plane at Clark Air Force Base in the Philippines in 1973 and the author of a speech repeated around the world. We are honored to have the opportunity to serve our country under difficult circumstances. We are profoundly grateful to our Commander-in-Chief and to our nation for this day. God bless America. God bless America. On Monday night in a made-for-TV movie starring Hal Holbrook, NBC will tell Denton's story, a story based on his book, When Hell Was in Session, seven and a half years of mental and physical torture in a North Vietnamese prison camp. Jeremiah Denton, 15. You are July being very foolish, Denton. Commander. You realize what would happen if we turned you over to the civilians? Denton, now a retired admiral, lives with his wife Jane and the youngest of his seven children in Mobile, Alabama. His family lived in Virginia Beach during his capture. Back in Tidewater this week, Denton says he's happy with the movie. It's the opposite of much of the promotion about me and the movie and much that has been written and said about me. Uh, the business of heroism, uh, personal heroism, is a lot of baloney. Uh, all I wanted to see portrayed by the book is that when people are put into tight situations, whether it be in prison or in any other kind of circumstance in life, uh, painful, uh, death-fearing uh, situations, they go to God. God gives them help, and, uh, and they can behave themselves uh, much better than they can under uh, easier circumstances. Half of the movie is devoted to Jane Denton, portrayed by actress Eva Marie Saint. It includes a trip Mrs. Denton and other POW wives made to the Virginian Pilot newspaper in 1969, seeking publicity which they hoped would bring their husbands home. I don't think the general public really had any feeling about what was happening to the prisoners other than the publicity that the issue received. So I don't think it'll change their feelings or really affect the feelings they had about the war, because the movie really isn't about the war, the rights, the wrongs, or it was, it's strictly about what happened to the prisoners. When Hell Was in Session is the story of what happened to the prisoners, the solitary confinement, how they used a tapping code to communicate, and how they were tortured when they were caught doing it. Denton says the movie is fairly accurate. He especially likes a scene toward the end, when the North Vietnamese released the prisoners from their tiny cells for the last time. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. God bless America. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News.